scheduled flight with the art of getting shot down by anti-aircraft missiles. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, and yes, I just assumed your genders, whereas the Venezuelan Navy at least lost to the foreign military of Big Uncle Sven's Penguin Tours, the Iranian Navy has just scored the worst own goal since Kurt Eichenwald released the Kraken. Wait, what? From Forbes, quote, Iranian Navy hits own warship with missile in fatal accident. Iranian Navy has confirmed that 19 people died when one of its warships was hit by a missile during a training exercise. 15 more are reported to have been injured. The mishap took place off the Iranian port of Jask in the Sea of Oman on May 10th. The warship that was sunk, Kenarak, is used as a general purpose vessel. The report crew was only 15 people, many fewer than the reported number of dead and injured. The missile was reportedly fired from the frigate Jamaran. It has not yet been confirmed which type of weapon was involved, but the 1,500-ton warship is armed with C-802 nor anti-ship missiles. These are an Iranian development of a Chinese weapon and are broadly equivalent to the U.S. Navy's Harpoon missile. Man, that's where we start to understand the problem with the Iranian Navy. First, with the frigate Jamaran, which Iran touts as its first destroyer, which is now, I guess, kinda accurate, is using missiles copied from Chinese missiles copied from American missiles. That's sort of like stealing the recipe for the world's greatest cheeseburger, remaking it out of infected bat meat, then taking a Polaroid of your new bat burger and putting the literal picture on a gluten-free bun. As for the ship that was sunk, the Kenarak, with its mysterious overstaffed crew, this 40-year-old rust canoe was purchased from the Dutch by the former Shah shortly before he was overthrown in 1979 and